And this video here, I, I'll show you on my YouTube channel real quick here. I had a gentleman, so I made a video of a review of Pirate Ship to be able to see, um, I did a review on Pirate Ship and I had a gentleman on my YouTube leave a comment. You might want to check out uh, Sindel.com, a small business. And I kind of figured that the guy possibly worked for the company, which is fine. I'll take him up on his challenge. So what I wanted to do was a price comparison. So I just sold this pair here, already put it in the poly bag. I have a, a scale, have a scale. And also I have a tape measure so we can get the accurate measure and it's already packed up in the poly bag. So I'm gonna do one single item, price compare between Pirate Ship, Sindel, and also USPS through the eBay. Now granted with eBay you cannot process out because of some reason it just won't work and you have to normally check out on PayPal in order to complete the shipping transaction. Since I've been using Pirate Ship, I'm gonna go ahead and do Pirate Ship right off the bat. So I already have import from eBay and I'm gonna do this one here, get rates, and we're gonna do poly bag. So we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, length and measurements. So it is 11 inches by 10 inches. All right, 11 by 10 in the package weight. So 1.12 ounces, a little more heavier than I expected. All right, uh -oh. for this, because of the weight and the size, this is going to be a seven dollars and thirty-five cents on on um, pirate ship. Now let's do it on eBay, just to kind of curiosity killed the cat. Let's see if it can get it better. 11 by 10 by, uh, and it's asking for the height, one inch, update. So 784, 735, and let's go ahead and do this here. I gotta confirm my email address. So I just signed up for this account here. So, okay, so now I can send partial. So let's see real quick, just since I'm on this website, I want to see if I can import integration of, um, it doesn't, yep, there it is. Okay, so I had to connect my Slindle to this. So I want to be able to make sure that I implement this all correct here. So it's the same thing as I showed you on my previous video with, with uh, Pirate Ship. So I already priced this out here for this and here are my options. And of course with this here, let's do 12 ounces, 11 by 10 by one, update. So I just had to set up my profile because this is the first time that I've ever used it. I declare I don't have any hazardous materials. All right, so let's see here. I'm curious how this is gonna work. Up to five pounds, up to one pound. So because this is over, one pound now if it was under a pound yes i would be okay but because <coughs> it's over i'm still saving money actually i'm saving more money on pirate ship than i would be on on uh sindel so for this absolutely not um just kind of curiosity if i were to manually change this um to something else i wonder if the pricing would be the same so let's just try to see uh so i'm going to take the zip code here eleven by ten one pound and that's it and same zip code same everything okay believe it or not it, it isn't that bad but the total dimensions would still be only up to 108 inches. So might have to look into this and that's not actually a bad pricing for, for this. But as of right now, Pirate Ship makes more sense because it's under, it's 
it's right over a pound and I'm still saving more money in this situation. Now, granted, like I said, yes, if I do have <coughs> items that are under a pound, I probably will uh, go with this um, this service just because of just looking at the pricing here, it would still be cheaper than Pirate Chip. So yes, uh, to answer your question on the YouTube channel, based upon what the size of the package is, would make more sense but just depending on the girth and the total dimension of the box. So I do need to kind of dig a little more into figuring out exactly what size box I can use to be able to match a one pound rated uh, shipping rate. A lot of the items that I send unfortunately are over a pound, so it doesn't make sense for me to be small and, and, and up um, for this service. It would make more sense for me to stay with Pirate Ship in this situation, but in some of the other items uh, that I ship outside of Poshmark on eBay, like uh, a clothing item, yes, it probably would make more sense to be able to go through Sindel and go this route uh, because otherwise, um, let's go ahead and just see what eBay is going to charge <laughs> for something that's under a pound. So I don't know. You know, right now, this is showing me for this same package under a pound, I'm still saving money under eBay. So it's probably very subjective. If I'm at first class partial mail, then I would probably just stay with USPS through PayPal. Otherwise, I would just go priority cubic mail, oh, if it's over a pound. So pretty much this wraps up the video here. Like I said, I wanted to do a quick pirate ship versus uh, Sindel versus eBay um, shipping with USPS directly and just trying to see what the pricing difference was between the two. Otherwise, you know, like I said, in this situation here for this item, because it was over a pound, it makes a lot more sense for me to stay with Pirate Ship. Uh, the pricing on eBay wasn't as, as much of a difference. Actually, it was more. So it was 20 cents more, in which when you're looking at shipping and you're paying for shipping, in this instance, I believe, yeah, I believe I'm paying for shipping. So I'm losing, of course, about seven dollars on this but i mean these were old pants that i just had laying around the house that i sold so hopefully this was in a very in a very informative video for potential resellers that are looking for a third party app and the reason why like i said i use pirate ship primarily is because of the analytics it gives me a very good understanding of my shipping costs of everything that I'm doing as far as total shipping and it gives me that breakdown that I love to have in order to understand my business as a shipping service. So um, go ahead and stay tuned for my next video which we'll be talking about the ugly side of counterfeit products. So if you're sourcing out there at Goodwill and you know Savers or wherever, be very cautious to look for things that might be of value but then not be genuine. And I guess I got tagged on Poshmark for they took a product off because it was a counterfeit tie, which I didn't know. And I probably should have did a little more research, but it's a lesson learned that when I do find these high brand names, Italian brand names, I'm gonna do a little more research on my end before I make the purchase. Granted, the tie was only a dollar, but when I actually looked into the text and, the, and everything else on the tie, and there was another one that I picked up that I realized that it was also a counterfeit. So I ended up having to take both off of Poshmark, but it was a lesson learned and that's gonna be our next video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also comment down below. If you do use a third party app, why you use Pirate Ship or Sindel or any other third party out there and not directly through eBay, let me know. And uh, hopefully we can learn from each other in this adventure in reselling. All right, guys, thank you.